With the system connected via network, we are now ready to configure the settings in Finish Links and in HiTech to output data to our Dectronics display. So once you open the software, we'll need to configure our scoreboard for the Mesa Center. And that is under scoreboard options. And we need to create a new scoreboard. So we'll click on new. For this specific message center, we need to choose a script file. And that script file is called DAC.LSS. We can give the scoreboard a name. We'll name it Mesa Center. <coughs> Next, how we're going to communicate. So since we are communicating over a network, we can choose network UDP. The port that the Dectronics Mesa Center listens to is 3002. So we'll type in 3002. We'll choose running time to normal. Send results if armed. We'll page the results by eight lines. And once you have this configured, you can see the status says not loaded. So what we need to do is click OK and restart the software. So go back into scoreboard options to check, make sure it's a running. And now it is. Choose OK, and we can try to output some data. But first, we need to play our sequence. So we'll come over to our show control computer, and we'll play our finish link sequence we have pre-built. So we have our sequence output into the display now. Now we can try to output some data to the display from finish links. And what we can do is open up a test race, file open, and use BOYS 3000. And when I open BOYS 3000, that should send the results to the display. Since we have our finish links data going to our display now, we'll I'll put high tech data to display. <coughs> Once you have high tech open, we want to choose setup, alpha scoreboard interface, and choose Dectronics full matrix, and connection method UDP Ethernet. Hit OK. Continue into the run screen. Once into the run screen, interfaces, scoreboard, Dectronics full matrix, set UDP port IP address. Here we want to type in port 20,000. Press OK. Next, we need to come over to the show control laptop and set up Dectronics communication server in order to send those results to the display. So once DCS is open, we'll choose ports. We'll configure port two. We'll name it high tech. Our communication method is network, so we choose UDP IP socket. And we're going to receive that on port 20,000. Next, the software will need to output this data on offset of 5,000. So we want to come here and go into active files, right click, insert a file, choose port two, browse to your script you need to run, which is called offset standard RTD. <coughs>
choose yes to restart the port. Go back to ports, configure port 5. We'll name it output. Type UDP socket. And our sign listens on 3002. So we'll choose 3002 for the output port. Hit OK. Once DCS configured, now we can send finish syncs data and high tech data at the same time. So we'll play our high tech sequence and we'll come over here into high tech. And <coughs> in order to output data, you would want to press Control F1. That brings up a little scoreboard display window. We choose our event number and our request. I'm going to output some results, so request 2. I'm going to hit OK. And then our data should show up on our message center. This concludes our setup of a finish things timing system along with high tech with a Dectronics message center. Thanks for watching.